May there be light and there was light. Yes, the said God. Of course, we are talking about Mother Eve. If you are joining us for the first time, this is the channel where we have fun with words and numbers, numerology to be precise. This is where we actualize selfful love with the use of scriptural references. And of course, it's all in the, um, with the mind to see how we could use these scriptures and references and of course our life experiences and to further um, help ourselves, propel ourselves into that fifth dimension. And if we are already in the fifth dimension, of course, how we can be aware of our state of being, also how we can make use or better use of what we already have or already know or whatever else it may seem that we would require to um, have or be or do. So, um, of course, we are following on the words of the said Godmother Eve, who has beckoned us to her, to her side and um, to really helping us um, to, of course, um, be in that fifth dimension this is what mother eve is about um getting us to be in that fifth or eighth cycle fifth cycle i call it fifth that it um dimension as well and mother eve really does not mind about that too okay now um i um of course was doing a presentation that had um well i hadn't realized but um it wasn't complete and i would like to come will do a second part to it and I will try and make a reference because it would be the cycle of um, life and creation and it probably be on E or F. <laughs> okay, but I will um, do these references and make a note as to show that it's the um, continuation of that um, presentation. So Mother Eve, of course, through her um, lettings, she also made it clear that while um, the God who had um, created man in his own image and likeness and so on, and he blessed them, or God blessed them, which is the God blessed, the God of blessing, which equals three. So in the blessing as well, we see that we have come to the number three, which also is the number of breast and um, creativity and um, nurturing and the W, I call it the W, the number of reflection. Okay, so, um, and there, of course, in that um, setting, Mother Eve also, um, called onto um well we could say call or but didn't call but in the sense of saying and she said let um where there is god blessed and god said be fruitful so basically it's like the god had blessed but mother eve comes round and say it's like you could imagine the two side by side and it um not just ending on the blessed but she says be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. Now, I have not taken into consideration right now all the, um, like, the and and the other words around this, but I just thought I would look at the um, structural, um, the numerical construct of all of these um, five, which is five, um, one, two, three, four, five, five we, because that's mother eve we are dealing with on five so to be fruitful i think i need another board or wipe this off let's see okay so we have the god of bless which is free and of course oh by the way before i move on so the god bless is free and mother eve is um five so when we add this together, we see we are dealing with eight. Again, so the God blessed with um, the God said together, meaning the God of blessing and the God of um, words, which is Mother Eve, coming together um, equals eight. So there is a cycle here. There is an eight cycle here. So fruitful, F-R-U-I-T-F-U-L, is six nine three nine 
two six three three okay so there we go and um, so this is um um 12 14 that would be 23 and 23 um plus 3 is 26 of course 26 plus um, 9 is uh 26 plus 15 let's do it this way 26 plus 15 that would be um, 11 which is 41 so 41 is 5 which is the the reverse of 14 like in the name of mother eve as well so 41 so the first one is 41 that's fruit to be fruitful is 41 then we have multiply m u l multiply p l y so 4 3 3 2 9 7 3 7 okay 10 26 um 26 28 31 and 7 is 38 38 so this would be 11 which is 2 okay let's multiply then we have replenish replenish okay and this is 9 we can see in this third entry right there mother eve is very present with hair the 9 and 5 together beginning and end replenish is requiring this is the middle it's going to require um the harvesting of something and also the cultivation of something we could say okay five five nine one eight okay so if you are new to um numerology i have got um templates to numerology and um of course there's lots on youtube as well so let's do this so this is 10 this is 23 28 um 38 and 40 40 um 3 43 plus 9 is that would be 52 52 52 is 7 5 plus 52 5 plus 2 is 7 so we have now um replenish and subdue let's do subdue okay this is one three two four three five okay this is eight eight and six is um 14 and um 14 plus four is um 18 so that is 18 equals nine just to go over this this is um eight twelve 13, 14, um, 17, 18. That's correct. Now, and dominion. The, I believe it's one N. I'm dominion. I-O-N. Two eyes. I think dominion tells it all, like the word beginning as well, with all these I and N's in there. <laughs> so, four, six, four nine five nine six five all right so that's eleven that's twenty and twenty that's thirty um four thirty eight well thirty four forty four forty eight forty eight um four plus eight is twelve okay so that's three now that gives us the only um, of all these as well we see that the first thing to be fruitful was the only one that gave us a direct numerical value of mother Eve and it was on the very the very um, first um, entry to be fruitful because to be fruitful is what we are 
um, everything else is about being fruitful whether you subdue it's for a while but it's with the aid to be fruitful whether you multiply it's with the aid to be fruitful or replenish it's all about being fruitful okay and having dominion of course so we see that the two gods now what we want to do here is add these numbers together which is um here we'd have seven Hair seven that would be fourteen plus twelve. Let's see what we get here. This is six and this is three. Three plus six is nine. Well, am I surprised? No, not at all. So this is where we see that number nine is beginning. That's what the template is about. Mother Eve has given us these um talents, if you like, or gifts. The five talents, five gifts, because we know Christ spoke a lot about those as well um, with the, the, in his parables with the virgins or five foolish virgins and five wise ones. Okay, so that's what we are meant to be um, aspiring to doing is getting to, and that means we have to do that, perform those acts within ourselves, see where we need to add whether it is more education or more insight or intuition or whatever it is, replenish because this is the land. This is the first land or the first garden that we need to be able to control. We are not talking about having just um, external thing because yes, Mother Eve said, I have given you every fruit bearing tree because the fruit is the word as well, the word. And in fact, we also in the New Testament have the fruits of the Spirit is nine. So we see that they are not really teaching anything there in that new, in, in that section that is not really here in the New in the Old Testament. So basically, what is there, as we have said in the word there, is also here. What is there is the whatever creation which is also hair. It is hair. All right. Okay. So it's the word. When we do the numerical value for the word hair, adding this together, this is 19, 24. 2 plus 4 is 6. Of course, the word, which is Mother Eve, because she's the said God, S-A-I-D equals 6. She is the said God. She wants to show us how to go from six, go into the um, we the cycles of the seven and eight because we are ending the seven and we are moving to the eight. Of course, when once we are in the eight, we must get to a stage where we birth into number nine, birthing whether it is going um beyond whatever realm whatever it is however we want to see it or understand it that's what it's about newness newness the word newness has a lot of fives in it as well okay so i thought um it was really crucial to draw this as i say the number nine we see is crucial there so mother we are talking about five as in what the gifts and of course, they equal nine, which coincides with the first word of the Bible, which is in, which is nine and five. Basically, we are talking about beginning and end. That's what Mother Eve wants us to do. When we add this together, it comes to 14. One plus four is five. That is what Mother Eve wants us to understand, that we need to get to that state of uh, illumination in number five. Because then that coincides with the word um, kundalini, for instance. That's the word I probably will be using for quite some time to come, um, depending how Mother Eve guides me here. So, lini, kunda, sorry, lini, okay, I, I, right. So, um, this is two, three, five, one. Three, nine, five, nine. Again, we see five and nine together here. So this is 23, 23, 26, 27, 30, 37, 37, 
I'm not sure this is correct because um, I have lost something here. It's supposed to be 41. Kun. Ah, my spelling is not correct. Okay, Lene. My spelling was incorrect. Okay, Kundalini. So this is two, three, five, four, one, three, nine, five, nine. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so this is better. So this is 23, 23, 26, 27, 27 plus uh, this is 31, 36, 39, 41. 4 plus 1 is 5. And that's the 5 Mother Eve wants us to understand. Now, I also had come across 41 um, in the, I think it's in the verses of um, something that we did. We came with this number 41, but of course it will show up again if we haven't got it right now. Um, yeah, so um, I've covered um, quite a lot tonight um, This um, in these presentations. We have seen although it's not in this presentation completely, but we have seen um, how the number 33 had showed up, how the number 40 had showed up. Um, so I'm saying in this series of presentations that I have done with the cycle of life and um, creation, I think it makes um, very great interest. I'm hoping it does to really view those um, presentations to see how the numbers interplay with each other and how they have been used in the scriptures to really get us chasing our tail, so to speak. So for instance, the number 33, um, you, will, you would not think that it had any relation with the number 40, but it really has. So basically, um, yes, uh, we see that Mother Eve is, um, of course, this is where we talk, we hear about wisdom. So this is about wisdom and this is about getting to know wisdom and knowing wisdom is really knowing Mother Eve. So we have said that in Mother Eve's first 10 entries or statements in the Bible um, where it is said and God said where we identify Mother Eve the first three equals 369 now that tells us that there is a message or a pattern that we need to follow the other one is 252 I also believe that that sets a pattern and of course when we add all this together it also equals nine but I am believing that they say it's saying that there is a pattern of two and then it is a pattern of five and there is another pattern of two which is the come derives from 20 or 11. Perhaps these numbers are really telling us for instance um, they probably match with the um, being fruitful and multiplying and replenishing and subduing so these are things we're going to look at and basically I believe that Genesis of chapter 1, 2 really or even when we go on will present us the formula of how we really do this, how we replenish, how we subdue, how we multiply and have dominion because we may have missed something and so if we are going into this eighth dimension or this fifth dimension which is one and the same because it's about eating and the mouth the mouth of course like the uterus um we are now um equipping ourselves to um to getting onto this new state well what do i say from here but well that's what i can say let there be light and there was light Thank you.